First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the Most High Yahweh, also the true Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashi Yah. Also to the Founder Father, the true Father one West. This is Father Kings coming right back at you yet with another lesson. I'm going to title this class. It's going to be a very short class. And before I go farther, let me mention this class is intended for the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of the blacks, Hispanics, and the so-called Native American Indians, and the so-called blacks, so-called African Americans. To you, I say shalom. Uh, the title of this class is going to be is They Not in Trouble as Other Men. And this is referring to the nation of Edom. Um, they not in trouble as other men. And what I mean by that is their lifestyle is so much different from our lifestyle to the point where they have the whole world at, at their grasp. Um, they're not tied down with bills. Um, the political system don't apply to them. The criminal, the criminal system don't apply to them because they can get away with, literally get away with murder because they own the political and the criminal system. Um, the currency system they own, they control the whole, uh, the whole uh, world economy as we know it. Um, they're not in trouble as other men. And I'm gonna prove that to you in the scriptures. Um, the only way they're gonna get into trouble is when the Lord returns and they go into captivity. Um, when you read Revelation 13 verse nine, it gives you the prophecy of them going into captivity. Before they do, let me get the book of Psalms. And um, before they do, let me get the book of Psalms. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 75. Salakia. <clears throat> um, it's Psalm, chapter 37, verse 4. For there are, Salakia, I'm going to start at Psalm, chapter 33, verse 3. For I was envious... At the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Joel chapter 9 verse 24. Malachi 1 verse 3. Um, I'm going to just abbreviate it real quick. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. And um, and you should know the rest. And he covers the face of the judge thereof. He covers his face like he's Yahweh, like he's Yahweh Shah, like he's the angels, like he's Moses, like he's King Solomon, like he's King David. They cover the faces of the judges thereof. And all the ancient landmarks and all the ancient kings of Israel, they cover their faces. It says, for I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For, for there are, Salakia. For there are no bands in their death, meaning they don't have the word of life. The bands, when you go to the book of Psalms, where it says um, they should break their bands of thunders. The, the bands means the scriptures, the prophecy, meaning this Esau has no connection whatsoever with the Bible. Matter of fact, he's antichrist. He opposed the Bible, and the Bible actually condemns him. For there are no bands... And their death, but their strength, their strength is firm because they in full power here. They own the whole world economy. And how did they get that wealth? By the way of this transatlantic slave trade. This is the part I want to get to. There are not, they are not in trouble as other men. They not tied down with bills. They not tied down with the stress that the average, and even some average Edomites that actually um, Joe six pack down the street, or uh, or or your your average coach Coach Johnson, or Coach you know whoever it might be, though they more rich richer than them. You know they they live a, a exclusive separate life from the world popula population. There are not in trouble as other men. Neither are there plagued like other men. They don't have to go through the things that Jake go through. They don't have to go through, hell, they don't even have to go through things as the average citizen of America had to go through. But definitely, surely not Jake, which is the nation of Israel. Therefore, pride, had, because they're in this position, therefore, pride had compassed them. And, you, and what comes to mind, that's the book of Obadiah, where it says the pride of their heart have deceived thee. Because Yahweh's going to bring them down. 
That's what Revelation 13, verse 9. Any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patient and the faith of the saints. Therefore, pride compassed them about as a chain, and violence covered them as garments. Because, hey, 9-11, um, just think about this, 9-11, the Great Oppression, all the whole historical wars that we know about it, even all we will lead up to when Armageddon come World War III, they have their hands in it. Every war coming from after the Dark Ages, we're talking about the 15, 1600s, they had their hands in it somewhere, somehow. So much so that they control the banks. They control um, the whole world commerce by the way of the slave trade. Matter of fact, they funded the slave trade. They funded the slave trade along with the wicked queen at that time. Therefore, the pride could pass them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment because they get away with murder. Their eyes, in, in, for example, they killed Dr. King. They had their hand in JFK, Dev. I mean, these people are devils, man. And they walk around because they have no one to account for. That's why we need a savior. That's how we shot Machi up. Because that's the only way these will, they will go down. Because we just read they're not in trouble as other men. You break a window or... Steal a bag, or steal a bag of uh, crayons. You going to prison? You going to jail? You know, they don't deal with that because they control the whole world economy, as well as the whole criminal and justice system. The Book of Ecclesiastes said, "Money answers all things." So whoever controls the money controls all the answers to everything. Psalm chapter thirty-seven, verse seven: Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than a heart could wish. They have more than a heart could wish, man. Um, the Rothschilds worth seven, seven hundred, eighteen. I mean, seven hundred, eight hundred trillion. If close to them are a zillion dollars, man. I mean, just think about that, man. They can end poverty of the whole world overnight, and still be well off. They are corrupt. Psalm chapter 37, verse 8. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully because, hey, they don't give a damn about us. They know that the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native American Indians are suffering in this oppression. Uh, one scripture come to mind is the book of Ecclesiastes says, Surely oppression make a wise man mad. And if you have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you should be angry about this they set their mouth against the heavens they blaspheme and how did they blaspheme with the Cesare Borgia image are oh, we the children of God are oh, we are the people and you read the revelations I believe it's revelations chapter 7 which says I know the blasphemy who say they are Jews but are not but do lie they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. I mean, how do they tongue walk through the earth? By the way of their media. Yep. And um, this this place will soon be judged, man. Um, Paul Paul said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but evil principalities and wickedness in high places, man. I mean, and they are ruling this earth in wickedness. They are Satan counterparts. I mean, just think about how cruel you have to be to have trillions of dollars from the slave trade, trillions of dollars from inventions that we invented, and enjoy the benefits of that those inventions. And look past the children of Israel like like we like we ain't we nothing, man. I mean, just one of these people 
have enough money to stop the whole world property. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Also, true black beside the King of Kings, Lord to Himself, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Also, the final father, the true father, one west. This father, Kings, come right back at you yet with another lesson. Shalom, one is real.